that it is the first day of summer and it's specifically at this time on this day and it could change a little bit depending on which year you're, you're in. Yeah, every every year the uh, official start of astronomical summer is either on June 19th, 20th or the 21st, but it begins at a specific time mm -hmm. for a specific reason. So let's talk about it. Of course, we get the seasons, the astronomical seasons because of the tilt of the Earth, right? The tilt of the Earth doesn't change as we orbit the sun. And this day of the year is known as the summer solstice because the center of the sun is is directly above the Tropic of Cancer. Of course, that's an imaginary line that is just above the equator, and that sits just south of us. And when the sun is directly above that, that is the official start of summer, and that occurred at 514 this morning. It's also the day where we get the longest amount of daylight for the entire year. So how much daylight? Yeah, the Arctic Circle's getting 24 hours of daylight. Today at the Tropic of Cancer, it's 13 and a half hours of daylight. And because we sit just north of the Tropic of Cancer, we get 14, about 14 hours. Of course, the equator gets 12 hours of daylight. But actually from here on out, our days are gonna slowly get shorter. Now it's a very slow process. For the next two months, we actually only lose about an hour of daylight. But after that, the closer we get to fall, it happens a lot quicker. So from August 21st to September 21st, in just one month's time there, we lose about another hour of daylight. But up until then, we got plenty of sunshine to enjoy here in the Sunshine Stately. And yeah, it's officially summer. Oh, it is now officially summer. By all means, it's felt like it for quite some time. But